Now, I was thinking to myself, uh, kind of ruminating as to what is a piece of music that really encapsulates, that really embodies the very essence of porcupine tree music. And the conclusion that I arrived at was the song Haridan from the new album, Closure Continuation. It's a tremendous piece of music. It's a confluence of all these different musical styles, musical languages that give rise to this porcupine tree's musical universe. It's the apotheosis, culmination, climax of porcupine tree's musical evolution as well. Now, if you were to ask me a few years back, what is the song that best describes porcupine tree or porcupine tree experience, I would have probably had to say it's the song The Blackest Eyes from In Absentia. Now, that song in particular contains uh, the different elements of porcupine tree music, but it doesn't sound as lyrically or musically mature as Harridan. Now, back in the days, early 2000, Stephen Wilson, the frontman of Porcupine Tree, the main uh, songwriter, was really experimenting with a lot of metal music, and he really introduced that as part of the band's musical vocabulary. But even in absentia, it wasn't strictly a metal album. It contained some, uh, some metal elements, but uh, even the songs that contained the metal element, the uh, metal part wasn't you know, as prominent as really the, uh, the song itself or the music itself. The music still consisted of different parts that uh, created this kind of musical journey. Now, with respect to the song Higher Than, I have to say, it starts really uh, strangely. It starts with the bass line. Now, in the past, Porcupine Tree, they've had m- music that started with the bass line. Hate Song, in particular, and also Strip the Soul. Those actually all start with the bass line. But with Higher Than, the bass uh, line actually at the beginning is very special in the sense that it gives you this ominous feeling that something is about to happen. It kind of sets the mood for the rest of the song to come. Now, the part I particularly like is uh, after Stephen Wilson plays the metal riff, uh, Richard Barbieri comes into play and he really shows his mastery of electronic music. He doesn't have to play a whole lot. He creates this sound stage that makes the experience of uh, listening to music as immersive as possible. So you just have to listen to that section of the song that Barbieri actually plays after, after the metal riff. To, uh, to realize what I'm talking about. Now, I highly, highly recommend anybody who cares about music, anybody who likes even classical music, progressive rock music, jazz music, to give this song a try. It's really a musical journey and takes it into these different moods. And the way it concludes is very, very poetic. It's probably one of, one of the most poetic songs uh, I've ever actually listened to in my life. So I have to say that, as I said, it's uh, really the... Uh, the climax of uh, their music, of their musical evolution. And uh, I really congratulate them for having written a music of such such depth and uh, such really immensity. So yeah, thank you very much, uh, Porcupine Tree, for writing this song and for getting back together and uh, also embarking upon an American tour pretty soon. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching my video. I just had to say something about this song that uh, I've been listening to for the past few months. And uh, I still feel that I have to listen to it, you know, maybe a hundred more times to be able to realize its true depth and its true meaning. Really, uh, really a great, great piece of music.